everybody and welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003 Career Mode. We're at the Magic Mile New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the New England 300 P24 on lap 1. Let's see if we can improve here on lap 2. A small improvement and that'll get us to P20 for the race. Welcome to the New Hampshire International Speedway in Loudoun for today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the New Hampshire 300. Barney, the fans are packed in and ready for the action. What do you think about this track? They did run a restrictor plate here for a couple of races because of the concern about the accelerators getting stuck open going into these flat corners. They no longer need those plates with the addition of the engine kill switch to all the cars. The switch is on the steering wheel and allows the drivers to quickly shut the engine off if they're going into the corner too hard. The Delphi car will soon be renegotiating with sponsors. That team has proved to be a wise investment for all their sponsors. I'm sure they'll make another offer. Elliot Sadler seems to always have to start toward the back at these speedway tracks. And let me tell you how frustrating that is to a driver. Starting in the back of the pack all the time is kind of like only being able to drive at rush hour. You know where you want to be, but that car in front or beside of you is always in your way. Pretty neat of MRN to acknowledge our sponsorship ending at the end of this race. Jeff Green on the pole for this race. How about that? Green flag in the air racing in the New Hampshire 300. I think I said New England at the start of the episode. That was the spring race. And we ran pretty well here in the spring. If I remember correctly, we finished in the top 10 because... This is a nice flat track where we can make up a lot of spots, especially in the corner. We're looking to do so again, coming off of a couple strong runs at Darlington, plus the win in the Noble 5 race at Richmond last week, looking to not make the same mistake we did during that race and taking only two tires. You know, I've looked that over. I must have just accidentally flicked it when I came into the pits. It's because I was still turning, I think. And because I was still in my turning when it changed over, that's when it switched over to no. And it, it just, I never caught it until later. Pretty crazy. Jeff Green, our pole sitter, already falling back, does not have the pace in that America Online number 30 Chevrolet. Look to get underneath here. Maybe. No, we're still racing with Terry Labonte. Now we're going to go underneath him and the 25 car, three wide out of the corner and we're going to clear the 30 car looking to get past the 25 car here in turns three and four sounds like 25 got a little loose there joe gibbs one and two right now with tony stewart bobby labani first and second then it's mark martin followed by us and green rounding up the top five for now Especially with our sponsorships coming to an end, it's nice that we've been able to have two great races. And if we can end on this one, we should get some pretty good offers. And again, based on how long these deals are, that should take us into next season, I would imagine. It's been in turn three. And caution flag is out. We've already crossed the line, so we're done with that. Let's see what happened here. Ken Schrader. Goes for a spin in turn three, backs into the wall, but luckily the damage model, not too harsh on him there. So that was a very realistic looking crash being underneath a, a car there. Too early to pit, not going to bother. So I'll just go back green here. Green flag. It is weird that it bases the green flag based off of the player, I believe. Because either it means that, you know, actually no, because it doesn't at the other tracks. Never mind. Oh, crap. It's just weird how it does the green flags here at New Hampshire because you clear the start finish line before you even get the green flag. Just a little weird thing about it. 
It's Tony Stewart starting to get off to, again to a bit of a run here. Mark Martin looking to pass Bobby Labonte. Car felt a little tight on that first lap. That's why we smacked the wall there, and it's feeling a little tight now. Might need to loosen up a little bit. It feels a little loose at the start of the run, but it starts to get way too tight as the run goes on. So I think it'll be best for us if we just go ahead and loosen it up a bit on the pit stop. As we get up right behind the guys battling for second place. Twenty laps to go here at New Hampshire. We're going to dive it down to the inside. Two Pontiacs and a Ford. Three wide through turn two. We're going to take P2. So we hit halfway on fuel. And now we'll see what we can do here with these guys behind us. And see if we can catch Tony Stewart, maybe. If I remember in the spring race, we started to really struggle as the run went on. Started losing spots. We have had upgrades since then, but you never quite know how it'll go. Just baby in the throttle there to get out of the corner. Keep our heads down for now. Keep pushing. See if we can catch Tony or at least hold on to P2 for a little bit. Bobby Labani and a couple others decided they would go ahead and pit to try to do an undercut here. Looks like Ricky Rudd in the pits there. We're not really making any grounds on Tony Stewart. It's staying about the same, but we have driven away from Mark Martin and the rest of the pack. I think we're going to go ahead and come down now at the halfway mark. We're low enough on fuel. Tires are where they should be. So I think we'll go ahead and take care of that now. And hopefully Tony Stewart stays out and we can undercut him and use the pace advantage. We got some cars headed down pit road. All right, so we are in four tires this time. Uh, let's just take that little bit out. I don't think we need to do much, and the rest is up to the pit crew. That pit stop didn't really seem to work out in our favor. We actually lost quite a bit of time. We're here with... Dale Jarrett, Mark Martin's right behind us, and Bobby Labonte, who had already pitted. Whoop, sorry there, Dale. Man, AI just really get loose if you make the slightest contact with them. But we're hoping doing pitting that little bit earlier can maybe help us get up to Tony Stewart as you see him there in the pits. Number six. As, who is that? Is Dale Jarrett currently the leader, I believe? Because I don't think he's actually pit yet. Keep an eye out, see where Tony is here as we get to the front straightaway. Again, we lost time on pit road because Mark Martin is now with us. Whole bunch of cars on pit road there. Good job. Imagine that, uh, it looks like that's Tony Stewart. So actually it looks like it's, oh geez, Mark came out of nowhere there. Either we gained just the slightest bit or it stayed about the same, so maybe we didn't really lose time. Maybe Mark just gained time in the pits as he is flying. He's going to go past us here for second, or what will be second place. We now battle with him. We just have to hope that Tony gets put into lap traffic and that kind of slows him down enough uh, for us to catch him. couple cars in front of him that might help a little get held up by Casey Atwood there Mark's gonna go flying past right, Biffle's blowing up it's, whoa Casey Atwood dives into the corner gets underneath Shauna Robinson gonna hold up Mark Martin which will help us we're gonna get past looks like Tony unfortunately making short work of these guys and he is driving away for now, P3 is the leaders in as Mark gets into the back of us there and gives us a little bump. Mark Martin has a very, very fast car here. Still beside you. You're in third. And us battling is not going to help us with potentially catching Tony Stewart here. Because our car just not as fast on this run. That or Mark Martin 
just absolutely got launched on this run. A little bit of contact with Mark, able to use the lap cars as a pick once again. Gotta hope that keeps up. We gotta. Tony needs to pass these guys slower. He's passing these lap cars way too quickly and with too much ease as Mark Martin splits the guys behind me three wide. Gets past them. Where seriously, these guys don't normally get through lap traffic this fast. What is happening where they are doing that right now? Tony flying through these lap cars up ahead. I don't think we're gonna catch him here. So we're just gonna have to try to hold off Mark Martin and hold on to P2. If we could get three straight top fives, that would definitely be a win in my book. Mark gets held up by Andretti there. Just that little bit, that'll help us a tiny bit before he can get back up to us. Yeah, this gap's gonna be way too big for us to catch Tony at this point. Well, as we come to the white flag, it's gotta be said, the right car is definitely winning this race. Tony Stewart has opened up a seven second gap on us. Luckily we managed to gap Mark Martin as we've let uh, more cars able to get a little bit of a gap on him. So we should hold on to P2 here. Tony Stewart absolutely dominates at New Hampshire. He is going to take home the win. But in what might be our final race with Delphi, we are going to bring it home in a very good P2. Our third straight top five finish for Desertel Racing in the number 63 Delphi Pontiac. There weren't very many lead changes. Yeah, I guarantee you there's at least 35 or 40 other drivers who wish they had seen the lead. The 63 car really did a fantastic job keeping his car away from trouble all race long. And that'll be a relief on the old wallet too. Cost big money to keep these NASCAR Winston Cup cars in tip top shape week in and week out. When you don't damage them on race day, help save a lot of time and a lot of money. Unfortunately, we're out of time for now. Thanks for joining us. Next up is Dover. Oh, I really, really don't want to do Dover next, but we have no choice. Hey, Darlington worked out for us, so maybe this will as well. As you see our blank number 63 car. And you can see we have moved up to 19th in the standings. Again, the goal to be in the top 20 in our rookie season. Continues to look strong. Dale Jarrett has a 111 point lead now over Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr. and Sterling Marlin. The top five. Tony Stewart currently P6. That is his fifth win of the season and is only P6 in the standings. We do take rookie of the race, so an extra two grand to us. Still P3 in the Rookie of the Year Championship. No big deal there, though. And Mark Martin absolutely dominating all of the polls here. And Pontiac still not looking great in the Manufacturers Championship. All right, it is time for new sponsors. Let's take a look. We have NASCAR.com has the has a pretty good income. Our highest one is actually once again going to be Delphi, and that's going to be for 27 races. So that would take us well into next year. It uh, doesn't look like we have any package ones, so don't have to worry about that. So it looks like no matter what this will take us next year, it's whether we want 18 or 27 races. Delphi expects 15th place, but 250 thousand dollars a race that is quite a lot so guess what delphi sticking around for essentially a whole season at this point so they'll stay on the car secondary once again delphi has the most money to offer they are also 27 races and qualify 15 we can do that i think our associate Looks like it's going to be Prestone or Coca-Cola. Finish ahead of Steve Park. I think we can do that. We usually do. So Coca-Cola going on the car. Uh, this one, not too much of a difference there. Just $1,000. We will go with Napa Auto Parts. And for the driver's sponsor, a bunch of 21s. 
just a matter of who we want. Let's go with NASCAR Thunder 2003 on the car. So there we go, 27 races for all of these and some great amount of money we should be getting. So really the only thing that's gonna change is what we look at at the back, which is gonna move over to Delphi. Currently have $3 million in the bank. That is fantastic. Let's see, our happiness 60 is 95, average 64. We'll continue to look at that, I guess. Go ahead, get our car ready for Dover here. Actually, let's take a look at what is after Dover. After Dover, we head to Kansas, then Talladega. So, we'll just have to make sure we have good stuff in time for that. And I'll take care of that in the background, because we all know it's just going to be the 100 stuff that goes in the car. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Delphi will continue with us, and next up is the Monster Mile, the second race of the season at Dover. Less than 10 races left in our rookie season in the 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup Series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!